Shalom. Today is May the 6th, 2024, the 28th of Nisan, 5784. 28th of Nisan, 5784, May the 6th, 2024. Today is Yom HaShoah, Holocaust Memorial Day. Yom HaShoah, 28th of Nisan, 5784, Holocaust Memorial Day. Coming to the end of Nissan now, May 8th and 9th, 2024 is the first day of ER 5784. Rosh Kodesh ER starts on Wednesday and Thursday, Wednesday night. ER, Nissan by the way, means miracle. It's the month of Passover and the month Jesus was crucified and buried and rose from the dead. Amen. Hallelujah. It's about 7.30 a.m. this morning, Monday morning, May the 6th, Holocaust Memorial Day. I've been looking at the Holocaust Memorial Facebook page also this morning. I'll post that link also. I looked up the meaning of the word ER, I Y Y A R, which starts, which is the next month starting in um, Wednesday night. ER in Hebrew means to bud and blossom like a rose. Our ministry is about to bud and blossom like a rose. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, even in the month of May in ER. Amen, hallelujah. Wouldn't that be cool? Your ministry buds and blossoms in the month of ER, which means to bud and blossom like a rose. <clears throat> Somebody spoke that word over me and they didn't even know that ER meant bud and blossom like a rose. <laughs> anyway, the Holocaust Memorial Day um, it's also called Holocaust and Heroism, Heroism Remembrance Day. They were heroes. They were martyrs. It's known in Israel as Yom HaShoah, and in English as Holocaust Heroism Remembrance Day or Holocaust Day. In Israel, they'll have a day of commemoration for six million Jews and five million others, Christians and other nationalities who perished in the Holocaust as a result of the actions carried out by Nazi Germany. And now, today, we have the United States funding the Nazis in Ukraine with trillions of dollars of our money and trillions of dollars of weapons to fight against Russia, who helped us defeat the Nazis in the last World War. And now we're funding the Nazis and arming the Nazis for World War III. They want to start World War III before they are exposed for global genocide because people don't even know it, but we're in the middle of a Holocaust right now. The uh, wars all over the world, the pandemic, it was all a genocide. And so now they're going to start World War III to cover up their crimes before we have another Nuremberg 2.0. I pray that God will stop them. 
he will bring justice and judgment to the earth for their genocidal crimes and terrorism and treason. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen. In Yeshua's name, amen. Hallelujah. We already have the victory no matter what happens. The word said it would be dark in the last days, but the darker the world gets, the brighter God's glory will shine upon us. He will bring us the riches of the nations for his kingdom purposes. And my ministry will bud and blossom like a rose in the middle of another holocaust, even in a, even another world war, even in famine and plagues. It's going to bud and blossom and bloom like a rose in Jesus' name. I just speak that over myself. Psalms 118, it says, in Psalms 118 in the Safari, it says, the Lord is on my side. I have no fear what man can do to me. I have no fear what man can do to me. I don't fear their holocaust. It just makes me sad to see people tortured to death because of their religious beliefs or their race. The Lord is on my side, and I have no fear what man can do to me. I shall not die but live and declare the works of my Lord Jesus. Amen. The Lord punished me severely, but he did not hand me over to death. I praise you, Lord, for you have answered my prayer and have become my deliverance. Open the gates of victory for me that I may enter in them and praise the name of the Lord, Yeshua. Hallelujah. I praise the Lord for he is good. His steadfast love is eternal. Let Israel also declare that his steadfast love is eternal. Let the house of Aaron, let the house of Aaron declare that his steadfast love is eternal. And let those who fear the Lord declare that his steadfast love is eternal. When I was in distress, I called upon the Lord, and the Lord answered me and brought me relief. The Lord is on my side. I have no fear what man can do to me. Even on Holocaust Day, even in the middle of a new Holocaust and at the beginning of another world war, famine and plagues and pestilences and pandemics. I have no fear at all. I have no fear at all. My ministry is going to bud and blossom like a rose right in the middle of all this darkness. And God's glory is going to shine even brighter upon me in Jesus' name. With the Lord on my side as my helper, I will see the downfall of my foes. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in the great. All nations have beset me, but by the name of the Lord, I will surely cut them down. That's what King David said. King David, the man after God's own heart. King David might not have been perfect, but he was a man after God's own heart. That's what God said. Doesn't matter what people say about you. It only matters what God says. And God said David was a man after his own heart. And when he was the king, nations all around him beset him. But by the name of the Lord, he cut them down. And they sang songs that said, Saul killed his thousands of enemies of God, but David killed his tens of thousands of enemies of God. Make me like David, Lord. Make me like Jesus. Make me like Jesus. Help me to even pray for my enemies because we have an even better covenant in the New Testament than what David had in the Old Testament. David said, all nations beset me, but by the name of the Lord, I cut them all down and defeated them all. 
He said, they beset me and they surrounded me. But by the name of the Lord, I cut them down. He said, they beset me like bees. but They shall be extinguished like burning thorns. You know how when you blow smoke on bees, they won't come near you. Like when people go and gather the honey from the bees' nest, they have those little smoke things. They spray around the, they spray the smoke around the bees and they won't come near you. He said, they beset me like bees, but they shall be extinguished like burning thorns. By the name of the Lord, I will surely cut them down. You press me hard, Lord. You press me hard in your trials. And I nearly fell and I nearly gave up and quit. But the Lord helped me. Mm, I feel the Holy Ghost. David said, you press me hard. He presses us like olive, like an olive in the press to bring out the oil. You press me hard and I nearly fell, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my might, and he has become my deliverer. Hmm. Get direct in the Holy Ghost. The tents of the victorious resound with joyous shouts of deliverance. The tents of the victorious resound with joyous shouts of deliverance. The right hand of the Lord is triumphant. God has me in his firm right hand of victory and the right hand of the Lord is triumphant. The right hand of the Lord is exalted and the right hand of the Lord is triumphant. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord Yeshua. The Lord punished me severely because of my sins, but he did not hand me over to death. Open the gates of victory for me, God, that I may enter them and praise the Lord Yeshua. This is the gateway to the Lord. The victorious shall enter through them. I praise you for you have answered me and have become my deliverance. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Your rejection always comes before promotion. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. They rejected Jesus and crucified him, and he went straight to the right hand of God and became the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in my eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. O oh Lord, deliver us. O oh Lord, even let us prosper in the midst of all this darkness, and let your glory arise and demonstrate your power. May he who enters be blessed in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. And we are the house of the Lord. The Lord is God and he has given us light. Bind the festal offering to the horns of the altar with cords. You are my God and I will praise you. You are my God and I will extol you. Even in the middle of a Another holocaust, even in the middle of another world war, even in the midst of famine and plagues and pestilences, I will praise you and extol you, and I will praise the Lord, for he is good, and his steadfast love is eternal. This life that we're going through is just like a blink of an eye compared to eternity. So if you go to Facebook to the Auschwitz Memorial Museum, you can see some amazing photos and links. I have a link on there to, uh, today um, called uh, the online lesson, Evacuation and Liberation of Auschwitz. 
The lesson tells about the initial stage of liquidation of the camp in late 1944, the final days of Auschwitz liberation and medical assistance provided to liberated prisoners. Imagine when they were liberated by the American soldiers from Auschwitz. I'm sure they were singing Psalms 118. The Lord is on my side and I have no fear what man can do to me. I shall not die but live and proclaim the works of the Lord. The Lord punished me severely in that holocaust, but he did not hand me over to death. I praise you, God. For you have answered my prayer and become my deliverance. Open the gates of that Auschwitz concentration camp and give me the victory. Hallelujah. Glory be to God.